Hey everyone, welcome to Mad Backyard. Today we're gonna to be smoking a pork tenderloin on our Pit Boss pellet grill. We're gonna show you how we marinate it overnight, set up the smoker, and cook it to the perfect temperature. We're gonna marinate our pork tenderloin overnight before we smoke it. Our marinade includes the zest of one lemon, the juice of two lemons, two and a half tablespoons of olive oil, two cloves of minced garlic, half a tablespoon of minced fresh rosemary, one tablespoon of chopped fresh thyme, three quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt, three quarters of a teaspoon Dijon mustard, and some fresh ground black pepper. Mix everything together well in a resealable bag and then add the pork tenderloin. Coat the marinade around the pork and try to squeeze all the air out of the bag. Place it in the refrigerator for at least two hours, but preferably overnight. The next day, power on the pit boss, let it run through the startup cycle, and set the temperature to about 270 degrees. We like this temperature for pork tenderloin because it cooks the meat slow enough to give it time to absorb smoke, but not so slow that it dries out before it finishes cooking. We're gonna be using some hickory and oak pellets from Expert Grill, but you can use whatever kind of pellets you like. Make sure to always store your leftover pellets in a good airtight container so they stay dry and last a long time. I'll put a link to this one from Oklahoma Joe's down in the description below. Give the grates a quick spray with some cooking oil before you put on the meat. While we get some smoke flavor from our pellets, we're gonna add even more by using a small firebox filled with applewood chunks. We made an entire video showing you how to set this up to get more real wood smoke flavor on a pellet grill. I'll put a link to it down in the description. Let our pork tenderloin marinate all night. We're gonna go ahead and get it on the smoker. You'll notice on the pork tenderloin, there's one end that's thicker and one end that's more tapered. I'm gonna put the tapered end to the right because my uh, smoker, this pit boss, tends to get hotter towards the middle and the left side. So I don't want this uh, end here burning by putting it too close to the middle. If this end starts cooking faster, I may move it uh, vertically um, because I know the back tends to get a little hotter than the front. So just thinking about how your smoker's set up um, and kind of modifying how you put the meat on uh, according to that. Pork tenderloin's been on for about 45 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over. You can see that on a pellet grill, especially the heat mostly comes from the bottom. So the bottom of our pork tenderloin is cooking a little faster than the top. So that's why we're gonna flip it over. And then I've got my meter uh, probe here. Um, if you're using a meter, a wireless temperature probe like this, which I highly recommend, um, there's a little line here which you wanna get as far into the meat past that little line. So when I'm putting the meter probe in, I wanna measure on the thicker part here. So I'm gonna come from the end and I wanna get it in past this line in the center of the pork tenderloin there. So our probe's reading right about here in the thick part of the pork tenderloins is what we want. And then this part's reading our ambient temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and close our lid and set up the meter app. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the app that comes with the meter. We're gonna do a cook setup. I'm gonna tap to set up to cook. We're gonna pick pork. We're gonna do a tenderloin. We're gonna do medium on our pork tenderloin and hit start cook. So now it's showing us the internal temperature is already up to 117 degrees. Our target is gonna be 145 degrees. We're gonna give it a few minutes. It's gonna estimate how much longer once it starts figuring out what the ambient temperature is, uh, how much longer the pork tenderloin is gonna take. You can baste on more leftover marinade as the pork is cooking but just make sure you give it enough time to fully cook. I'd suggest not putting any more leftover marinade on once the pork only has 15 to 20 minutes left. Continue to rotate and flip the pork as necessary so that it cooks evenly. Okay, it's now been about an hour and 20 minutes since we put the pork tenderloin on. The meter is reading 139 degrees. Uh, we're gonna take it off at about 140 here. It's probably gonna start beeping in a minute at us, but um, we're gonna go ahead and also wanna spot check a couple areas. Anytime you're using a probe thermometer, it's always good to use an instant thermometer like this to really kind of spot check and make sure you're really where you want to be. That was 142. Maybe give it another minute or so. It's 139, 140 there. I'm gonna check kind of down in the thinner end. It's probably gonna be up a little higher, yeah. So 143 down, a little more well done down in the tail. Um, yep, so now our meter's going off, telling us to remove it from the heat. We spot checked with our uh, instant thermometer. It's telling us the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy off and let it rest. Pork tenderloin's rested for about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and slice into it. We've got a good meat slicing knife. I'll put a link to this down below if you wanna get one like this. But we're gonna come right down the middle here and see how it came out.
I'm gonna do some thin medallions here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. You get a nice pop of flavor right away from the lemon and garlic marinade and some nice smoke flavor on the back end. So we kept it simple with a nice overnight marinade. It only took about an hour and a half on the smoker. That's what I love about pork tenderloin is just an easy weeknight meal. It's delicious. You can keep it simple like we did with the marinade or you could go a little heavier with a barbecue rub and sauce. It's really up to you. You can find the full step-by-step -step recipe at madbackyard.com. I'll put a link to it down in the description below, as well as links to all the products we use today. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and thanks for watching.